Hi, I'm Dr. Faber, and now we're going to discuss a second major sleep disorder seen in children, adolescents, and adults, and this is periodic limb movements in sleep, or PLMS. And with periodic limb movements, the individual will have periodic leg jerking movements during the course of the night. And so if a parent is seated or lying next to a child, or in adults, a bed partner may notice these periodic leg jerking movements. And the reason these are so important to identify is that as the person has the leg jerking movements occurring, while they are asleep, they will often shift from deep sleep to a lighter stage of sleep. And so they appear asleep throughout the night, but the quality of sleep is not as good as it could be. And so the next day, the person may be very sleepy, or they may be inattentive. And because restless legs are often seen with periodic limb movements in sleep, there may also be this discomfort in the lower extremities and the person feels they need to get up and walk around or move around. In children and adolescents, restless legs may appear to be like ADHD. And periodic limb movements may often be seen with restless legs or RLS. So this is an important variable to evaluate. In adults, a significant source of daytime fatigue is sleep which is interrupted by these periodic leg jerking movements. And in young people or adults, low iron stores may be related to restless legs or limb movements and so obtaining a serum ferritin level which measures iron stores may be useful and that too can be addressed. So these are periodic limb movements, restless legs, seen in children, adolescents, and adults, may be associated with low iron stores, can look like ADHD, and certainly can be identified and treated. Thank you.